Hey guys, what's bummed with you guys? What are we reacting to? Is Paradise only for Jews? Q and A Abdul Rahim Green. Guys, let's get straight into this. And we have another question from a, a yet to be Muslim here now. Oh, I'm already Muslim. Oh, you're already. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's not what they told me, bro. Sorry. I recently turned Muslim three months ago. Oh, excellent. Sharif. Takbir. Allah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Takbir. I, that one. Uh, I don't yet know whether I can go ahead and ask you three questions, brief questions. Okay. One, you said you had a friend in the UK who went and asked the chief rabbi. Yep. Whether he would go to paradise yeah. since he was a non Jew. Mm. So, the reason is, the question is why would me and you practice Islam and Christianity, yet you already know we're not Jews and we wouldn't go to paradise? Yes. The difference is here is that being, the difference here is, um, of course, as Muslims, we, um, we look at Judaism from the point of view of a religious belief. No, the Jew does not look at it from the point of the view of a religious belief. Yeah? Being a Jew is not only a religion. It's also me. You can't really technically. Not all Jews, by the way, say this. I have to say, not all Jews say this. Yeah? But there are Orthodox Jews. I mean, an Orthodox means they claim that this is the proper way to understand the religion. Yeah? They claim that being a Jew necessitates that you, your mother is Jewish. You can't be a Jew unless you're born of a Jewish woman. Yeah? So it's not only, and even in England, by the way, Judaism, being a Jew, is not a religious definition. It's a race. Jews are defined as a race. Do you understand? Okay? So, and this corresponds to what, with what many Jews believe, yeah? So do you see how it's highly problematic? It means that you have to be born of a particular, you know, uh, from a particular race, it, not depending on your deeds or your actions or your belief, yeah? So that's, that's the problem with it, that I said, yeah? Okay. Thank you very much. I believe Paul answered this question. I was when they were asking him about circumcision in the Bible, and he was like, For the fact that not circumcised does not mean you will not make heaven. That's where the misconception came up where people claim Paul said, Don't get circumcised. Paul was only af after telling people that you don't have to be circumcised for you to make heaven. That's not an obstacle for you getting to heaven. Like, you can't not be circumcised and still make heaven. But like it's good for you to be circumcised, but it does not matter if you are or you're not. Heaven is a place where we can get to by our work, but we can get to by the grace of God. So I don't believe you being circumcised or because you don't have control over you being circumcised. Like it's something your parents do for you from birth. So you say that Jews have are the only ones that make heaven. I, I feel that's false. I believe we will all make heaven because we all know God. Guys, this is the Lysha Scott on channel. I'll see you next time, guys. guys.